Why, hello there, everybody. It is I, Super Paul Games. Welcome back to the Troubles with Carpathia. I'm having a lot of fun with this. Horse Baby Boy is now 41. He's more of a horse baby man. And we are trying to rebuild a country's... <laughs> build our country. Our military... Um, our retinue has been destroyed. Oh, poor horse baby boy can't win. Apparently his wife just died right now at age 45. Teresa died. Um, let us find him a new wife. Might want to find somebody old his age. Ooh, what about this old lady? 75! I'll give you a nice drive vagina times! Ooh, that sounds hot. Ooh, you're my aunt! Let's not do that. Let us not do that. <laughs> oh, it says I have it looking for dick. I mean... Yeah, no wonder why. Yeah, I, I definitely don't want people that are related to him. Do you have any territory? You have some claims. What about that old lady? Wait, no, let's pick someone with better stewardship. No, not your kinswoman. What about this one? Wait, aren't you my concubine? Yeah. You know what? That that makes sense. He's going to marry his concubine. He's going to be like, you were a good concubine all these years. So I'm going to marry you. I'm the emperor. I can do what I want. Deal with it, everybody. And he did. He married his concubine. So let's find a new concubine. Um... How about this lady? She looks really like, oh, I don't know if I want to do that. Yeah, that sounds hot. Someone who doesn't want to try things. <laughs> All right, we got him a new concubine. He's got a new wife. Oh, it's actually his concubine got promoted. So being a concubine, it's kind of like the minor leagues here. Yep. And um, a couple of years, and uh, 21st of June at 1035, uh, Tilla the Butt here is going to bring over an adventurer army of probably thousands of guys. Not much we can do about that right now, unfortunately. Um, you can see our retinue is slowly growing because we have a little bit of cash, even though we're deficit spending because we need to build that up. Remember when that used to be thousands of men strong? I do. Those were the days. Let's look at factions. There are no big anti-us factions because most everyone who is powerful is in prison. Alright, we can hand out some titles. So hand out commander. Um, we'll give it to this guy. He's got high marshal. I meant to look at his stats. I hit the wrong button. Either way, he got the promotion. No big deal. What don't we see of the non-prison guys? What people think of the Emperor? Most people actually like him. You don't. Why would you matter? You directly report to me. Suck a dick. It's like, I don't like you though, man. Suck a dick. Here, I will give you an honorary title. I can't give you Jester. Last time I gave someone the title um, Jester, they got mad and joined the revolution. <laughs> He deserved it, though. He was a dick off. Um, whatever. Look at that. 579 men. 665. Yes, build that retinue up. Then we can go raiding with it. Go fight some wars. Dongerson IV, Dick Topless, has contracted typhoid fever. That's our half-brother. Man, typhoid fever is running rampant. We have a ton of allies, apparently. They never seem to show up when we need them. What do we have claims that we can press? The only one we have is on Come Land, way out there. Which would be nice to have, but... Who's the leader of that? Uh, he's got about 2,000 guys, and I don't know. With adventurers showing up in about a year. A little less than a year, a little more than a year. I think a year and a half, something like that. Probably don't want to use them all. 750 men in our retinue. It's amazing the things you get excited about when you've spent 20, 30 years fighting civil wars. 
There's still big time deficit spending because, um, yeah, we got to rebuild that. 837! I don't even remember how many guys is, are supposed to be in that when it's full. I think it's over 2,000. It would be nice if we could get it big enough, because then we could maybe, you know, you got to get it big. Maybe send them out to uh, raid some neighbors, make some easy money. Man, it's going to be over a thousand before long. Oh, how many years it's been since our amazing retinue has been that strong. Let's put somebody in charge of the uh, right flank there. We put Vasily the Silly Commander. He's like, I want you to wear clowns and make fart noises. Wear clowns? Yes, kill them and wear them on you. All right, that is a little scary. Very. You're more than silly, you're a psycho. Over a thousand troops in our retinue. Let's take a look at the world. Byzantine Empire is fighting a tiny revolution. I guess a tiny revolution there. Italy's got one there. Holy Roman Empire. Whoa, look at this. Apparently, we own a chunk. That's our um, chancellor there. That message was telling us they kissed up to the Emperor of the Byzantines again. This little thing here we own. Who are you? Count Sermon of Belgrade? You're Bulgarian. You're Orthodox, though. Your liege is a Nicola the Drunkard. Where is he? Oh, he's right here. So apparently, somehow, our vassal picked up a vassal, probably through inheritance or something. Who's in here? So we have a chunk right in the middle of the Holy Roman Empire. We're that good at expanding. Scotland's having trouble, though. Jorvik's coming up and kicking them off. Maybe somebody's going to finally form Great Britain. Or at least England, if you go down far enough. Other than that, it's... I say quiet, but compared to our constant, non-stop civil wars, um, everything else probably is relatively quiet. Um, I think we have some raiders in the north. We do, but I don't really care, because I'm a bad emperor when it comes to that. <laughs> Always have been. I would love to get some more money. Is there anybody else worth, worth ransoming? I doubt there is. No, we don't want to ransom anyone super powerful. And definitely not Kristoff, as he was the leader in the huge rebellion. I want him to die in prison. Let's take a look at our family. Look at all those kids. Here's our heir apparent currently, unless some new kid pops out, Dominic. He's, he's pretty good. He's kind. He's brave. He's patient. He's honest. He's good at diplomacy. I like that. And Horse Baby Boy is 42. He's proud, patient, ambitious, zealous, gregarious, the child of a concubine. He needs a tough soldier. Oh, he has some positive combat modifiers to want defense, but he's never going to be in war. And um, he's really good at religious studies. Who? Um, I'm starting to think Becerra might fancy me. No, she's got the lover's pox, and she's related to you. She's a bastard of your dynasty. You're not fucking some distant cousin who has, you know, herpes. Not doing that. The holy site of Akmasit is an important center of the Tangri faith. Many religious events are celebrated there, and the spirit of Tung Ak is said to permeate the entire area. He's got to go. Um, we're going to lose some gold. Um, I don't want to lose the gold, but I feel like... This is what Horse Baby Boy would do. He's a zealot. He is very zealous for the Reformed Tangri faith. I think he's like, I've got to go to the holy site. He's going to spend the money, even though we don't have a lot of money to spend. And he's going to go to the holy site. Hopefully nothing bad happens. Maybe I will see the great goose god myself. Tangri, are you there? Or is Arkishi there to try and corrupt me? Our concubine wife looks funny. Your visit to Akmeset was certainly worth the time. You have wandered around in its sacred halls and pondered the atmosphere and the religious mysteries that lie hidden here. Praise Tung Ak. We gained 50 piety and 2 learning. Holy shit. Bro is smart. I don't know why he only got one on there. I don't know. But either way, that's pretty cool. He had a religious moment. He connected with his deity. 
All right, our retinue is up to 1,300. We're starting to run out of money, though. That was the right choice. When in doubt, play the character. I want to get that retinue up to at least 2,000, because if we did that, we could start trying to raid neighbors. How strong are you? Oh, that's too close for comfort. She has 1,180 troops she could draw on. We have 1,400. 2,000, though, and I'd feel good about raiding. In fact, we're going to start sending our retinue up there just in case. Do you have any allies I'd have to worry about? I don't think they're going to help if we're raiding. Oops. I'm going to give out a new commander title? We will give it to Dexter, our son? I think Dexter actually controls some little shitty area out in the east. Princess Dana is of legal age? That's great. We have so much prestige there. Look at that, 4,500. Super prestige, man. Our technology is pretty good. Our town infrastructure is up there. Military organization is. Oh, we're about to go into the negatives from finances again. We have a truce. We're hostile towards some people. Oh, the people are raiding us. Whatever. Our retinue's up to 1,600. I was starting to wonder if I'd ever see that again. But then again, in about six months, that um, invading army is about to show up. Merry Christmas, one and all. Merry Christmas, one and Paul. Hey, that's me. I don't know, maybe 1600 is enough to risk to go looting. Hopefully when the uh, the um, Attila the Butt here shows up, hopefully his army is less than 5,000, and there's some way we can use our vassals' armies to go fight the war for us. Let them do the heavy lifting. 700, 1700, I'm sorry. If we look at our retinue numbers, yeah, we still need a couple hundred light infantry to fill it up. Oh, we used to have 800. We must have lost, like, one. Some uh, pikemen, um, a bunch of archers yet. We still, what, we're, like, maybe two-thirds of the way, halfway full on that? Uh-oh, a council position's opened up. The spy master has expired. Um, why don't we make... This is a spy thing. Let's see. Our nephew, who really likes us, wants to be spy master. Sure, why not, bro? Build a spy network here? Where? Where's your headquarters? Oh, and we gave him the county Gemmer, I'm guessing, a long time ago. Either that or he inherited it. I'm not sure which. Either way, it works out. So let's see, lady. You have less troops than we do. A little over a 1,000. Once we get our army here, we're going to move it into raid. If you look at this little line here, uh, imagine this is all the unprotected things. Things that are not inside the castle. Those should be easy to loot. Um, these should be harder to loot. We've got to wear down the castle to get to these. Alright, so since... Um, the reason we can do this, we can loot, is because we are pagan. Um, I don't think non-pagans can do that. So we're going to run in there and loot, just like people loot our territory in the north. They're actually all gone. They must be scared of us. They should be. Come on, lady. What's your name? Duchess Gertrude, don't you want to pay to support my troops? That would be awesome. She's like, I don't want to pay to support your troops. Your army's too big there, you cunt. Fuck. We don't have a big enough army. I guess we're going to have to go here to loot there. I know one of my thought, slothful, not thoughtful, but slothful, like adorable sloth, courtiers, is um, capable of more than he realizes. I want to push the courtier to be more ambitious. I believe there's great potential. I don't care. Well, if that's what the emperor wants to do, tell him to be more ambitious. My subtle ways of pushing Chief Dragshan into showing his true potential has worked out. Wait, I thought it was this guy. 
Oh no, I clicked on the wrong guy. Uh, it is as he has realized how fun it can be to be ambitious. Oh man. He likes us though. An ambitious character can be very dangerous. Especially one that has a claim on the Empire and is your spy master. Yeah, that could be a problem. Alright, we have enough people here where we can try and loot here. Same as before, this is you will see this yellow line go down as we loot. The easy loot. Um, somebody needs an, to be edumentated. Yeah, come on, give me some money. We want to get all the money we can because we need to rebuild our retinue. Oh, look, they raised their army to try and stop us from looting them. Well, we just want to take your money. Is that so wrong? If that's wrong, I don't want to be right. And don't worry, you have more money we can take. Oh, man, we're going to pull out of there, though. We looted a little bit. I don't know if it's going to be worth it. I don't know if I was supposed to turn off the loot thing before we got back or not, but whatever. Attila the, of the Attila's Host has declared Attila's Host claim on Magyar. Everybody does. How many armies does... 10,000?! Where does this guy get 10,000 troops?! He just pulled them out of his butt! Well, you all saw that happen. Um, let's move our retinue back here. What is his religion? Alright. As long as nobody's using it, we can call him the Holy Order. But that's going to cost us a bunch of money. Ooh, great! The steward has showed up. My liege, I have collected a tithe in Sophia. The money should reach you together with this letter. Sweet, we needed that money. We want to keep building that retinue up. Alright, so we know... Oh, where is he going to land, though? He could land here in so uh, Senji. Uh, he could land over here somewhere. Last time, I think they ended over here, because Magyar is here, here, and I think one place way over there. God, I hate that stupid title. This crown has caused us nothing but problems, but we can't destroy the title, unfortunately. Oh, look at our retinue grow, grow, grow. I love that. Still, our retinue has no chance of fighting a 10,000 man army. Let's see. Our, let's find other kingdoms around here. Here's the kingdom. Do they have a 10,000 man army? No. Here's the kingdom. Do they have a 10,000 man army? No. Oh, what about the Swedes? Let's find their head of state. Does he have a 10,000 man army? Nope. What about the head of the Irish? Nope. What about the king of France? He does. I don't know. You've heard me complain about that before. My liege, my mission to Constantinople has been so far success. Are you supposed to be this voice? Hey, I did it. Hey, at least the emperor of the Byzantines like us. Our chancellor has done a great job of keeping the Byzantines from wanting to go to war with us. Emperor Horse Baby Boy of Carpathia has inherited the county of Oaktuckin from Prince Ragu. Oh, his son died! Oh, that is sad. Shit. Well, let's give it to another son. Loop job. You can have your brother's territory over there. Good luck. Oh, and we can give someone a commander title. I don't even care who. We're just going to give it to the best guy. Sometimes it's a lot of micromanagement when you have an empire this side. It's kind of like micro machines. Oh, almost 2,000 guys in our retinue. Most excellent. What we might have to do is when the giant adventurer army shows up, is we might have to just let them take territory and wear themselves out. Uh, we can righteously imprison this guy. I don't know why. I don't care. What did he do? Oh, it disappeared. 
Guess I can't anymore. Sweet, over 2,000 guys in our retinue. Fan freaking tastic, son! Finally, things are turning around. I say that. I say that as a giant army is um has set sail for our land. Is that their boat? My emperor, I please to report the majority of the population of Zerk has converted to the Tengri faith. Zerks, the Zerks, the Jerks. So that would be right there, where um one of our high chiefs is fighting. I don't know who he's fighting. He's fighting some jerk off. Oh man, look at all that nice tangry blue. Who the fuck are you fighting, dude? It's not Attila's army. Because Attila's flag is kind of that red bird thing. Defeat! What? Oh, those are raiders. They're fighting raiders. Awesome sauce. I'm proud of our chief there. Uh, even if he lost, that he was fighting raiders. Good for him. And we are over 2,000 on our retinue. Hell yeah, we have 156 gold in the bank. That hasn't happened at all at any point, I don't think, prior in Horse Baby Boy's tenure as Emperor. Well, everybody, that's the end of this episode. Next episode, I'm pretty sure we will run into... Is that their boat? No. The um, army... Of a till of the butt. So until then, take it easy, everybody.